Hello students, in this video on anti ulcer drugs part 1, we will study in brief pharmacology of drugs used in the management of uh, peptic ulcer disease. I will try to give a complete comprehensive overview of anti ulcer drugs. Now, in order to understand the mechanism of action and the role of a drug in the management of uh, peptic ulcer disease, let us uh, first recapitulate what is peptic ulcer disease and its pathogenesis. Now, peptic ulcers are defined as lesions in the gastroduodenal mucosa. Now, here mucosa refers to the innermost lining of the wall of stomach or duodenum. Now, look at this diagram. This diagram shows a gross structure of the stomach. This is the wall of stomach uh, that is shown here in the pink color. Now, innermost lining of the wall of the stomach is called as mucosa. Below the mucosa is the submucosa and muscularis mucosa and the outermost uh, protective layer of the stomach is called as serosa. Now, tissue layers of the wall of stomach are very clearly shown in this diagram. Innermost is the uh, mucosa, below the mucosa is the submucosa, then muscularis mucosa and the outermost protective layer of the wall of stomach is called as the serosa. Now look at this diagram again. Now it shows mucus. Uh, this is the mucus. Uh, this is the mucus. So it shows mucus. Now this mucus is an insoluble gel layer and it remains and it remains adherent to the gastroduodenal mucosa. Now this mucus gel layer it protects the gastroduodenal uh, mucosa from the corrosive effect of acid and proteolytic effect of pepsin. Now the acid and pepsin they are present in the lumen of the stomach mixed with the food. Now breakdown of this mucus uh, gel layer exposes the wall of stomach to the toxic effect of gastric acid and the pepsin leading to the digestion of gastroduodenal mucosa leading to the digestion of the wall of the stomach and this results in the formation of lesions and this causes the genesis of peptic ulcer disease. Now there are two types of factors aggressive factors and uh, protective factors. Now aggressive factors are the factors that break the mucus gel layer and protective factors are the factors that uh, preserve and protect the mucus gel layer. Now, uh, peptic ulcer disease is caused due to an imbalance between aggressive factor and protective factors. In peptic ulcer disease, aggressive factors outweigh the protective factors. Now, aggressive factors are H. pylori, H. pylori that is the helicobacter pylori. Uh, it's a gram negative bacteria that colonizes in the gastric mucosa. Now, important to note that up to 90% of patients with gastroduodenal ulcers uh, test positive for H. pylori and anti-H. pylori drugs suppress and eradicate H. pylori. Now eradication of H. pylori prevents uh, the relapse of ulcers. Uh, second cause of uh, peptic ulcer disease is the use of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Now these drugs they hinder the production of prostaglandins uh, specifically ulcer protective uh, prostaglandin E2 and I2 by mucosal epithelial cells. Now sucralfate, uh, sucralfate is a drug, uh, it is a synthetic prostaglandin E1 analog. Now apart from this excessive production of gastric acid is one of the main causes of uh, peptic ulcer disease. Now here we have drugs like uh, H2 antagonist and uh, proton pump inhibitors. Uh, they suppress the secretion of gastric juice by the parietal cells. Now apart from this antacids, uh, there are another category of drugs. Antacids neutralize uh, gastric acidity. Now excess secretion of pepsin also causes peptic ulcer disease. Now talking about the protective factors, that is the uh, factors that protect the mucus gel layer. First is the secretion of mucus for the formation of mucus gel barrier. Uh, next is the production of uh, prostaglandins specifically PGE2 and PGI2 which further stimulate synthesis of mucus and bicarbonate ions by the um, mucosal uh, epithelial cells. Then uh, bicarbonate ions, these ions uh, neutralize the acid that diffuses in the gastroduodenal mucosa. 
Apart from this, uh, uh, a rich supply of blood flow to the mucosa helps in the rapid regeneration of injured uh, mucosal epithelial cells. So these are the factors which are responsible for the uh, for the protection of uh, mucus gel layer. Now a drug. Uh, called as a colloidal bismuth subcitrate in short CBS is a cytoprotective drug and uh, CBS is uh, postulated to increase uh, gastric mu mucosal uh, prostaglandin uh, secretion uh, that is the PGE2 secretion and it also uh, increase the secretion of mucus and uh, bicarbonate ions. Uh, now look at this diagram. Now this diagram shows uh, uh, secretion of uh, secretion of gastric juice by the parietal cell. Now in this diagram uh, is shown the uh, antral G cell uh, that uh, secretes the gastrin, then enterochromaffin like cell, and the parietal cell. These cells they are located in the gastric glands found in the gastric mucosa. Now this is a parietal cell. It consists of hydrogen potassium ATPase enzyme commonly called as a proton pump. Now stimulation of this proton pump releases acid shown here by the, by the uh, hydrogen ions. Now these parietal cells and thus the proton pump is stimulated by the binding of acetylcholine to the parietal cell, by the binding of gastrin to the parietal cell and by the binding of histamine to the parietal cell. Thus, uh, parietal cells are stimulated to release acid uh, by acetylcholine, gastrin and histamine. Now, gastric acidity uh, that is the acid which is released uh, by the stimulation of uh, proton pump is neutralized by the antacids. Antacids are uh, a type of anti-ulcer drugs. These antacids, they neutralize the gastric acid. Examples are uh, aluminum hydroxide, magnesium hydroxide. Now histamine, it is released from anterochromaffin like cells. Now this released histamine, it binds to histamine H2 receptors on the parietal cells. And thus histamine stimulates the proton pump to release acid. Now H2 antagonists like simetidine and renitidine these drugs, they are the competitive antagonist of histamine at H2 receptor and thus they inhibit the binding of histamine with H2 receptors and thereby they suppress the secretion of gastric acid by the parietal cells. Now, uh, proton pump inhibitors like uh, omeprazole and lansoprazole inhibit hydrogen potassium ATPase enzyme that is uh, primarily called as a proton pump. Uh, thereby inhibiting uh, final common pathway required for the secretion of uh, gastric acid and thus uh, proton pump inhibitors are the most efficacious and most effective anti-ulcer drugs. Another category of drug is the uh, misoprostol. It is a prostaglandin E1 analog. Now this misoprostol it binds to prostaglandin receptors in the parietal cells and thereby inhibit hydrogen potassium ATPase pump. Inhibition of hydrogen potassium ATPase pump inhibits the release of acid. Now, uh, very important to note that uh, misoprostol is uh, seldom used now uh, and moreover it has been associated uh, with a warning that uh, it causes abortions, it causes birth defects and it should not be used uh, by the woman of uh, childbearing age. Another category of anti-ulcer drugs are the cytoprotective agents. Uh, for example, sucralfate and another drug that is a colloidal bismuth citrate. Uh, now look at this diagram. This diagram shows uh, layers of the wall of stomach. Uh, innermost lining called as mucosa. Uh, then uh, submucosa, muscularis mucosa and the outermost called as a serosa. Now this diagram shows a gastric ulcer. Uh, this is a uh, gastric ulcer, a lesion in the mucosa. Now drugs like sucralfate and uh, colloidal bismuth citrate, they form a coating over the ulcer base. And this coating of uh, cytoprotective drug protects the ulcerative tissue from corrosive effect of acid, proteolytic effect of pepsin 
and harmful effect of bile. Now, apart from this, uh, uh, very important to note that 90% of patients with uh, gastroduodenal ulcer are found to test positive for H. pylori. And the eradication of H. pylori leads to faster healing and uh, it prevents the ulcer relapse. Now, anti-H. pylori regimen is either a triple therapy regimen or it is a quadruple therapy regimen. Now, triple therapy regimen consists of a proton pump inhibitor plus two antibiotics. Uh, that is a three drugs. One proton pump inhibitor and uh, uh, two antibiotics. Mm, any two of the antibiotics mentioned over here. While quadruple therapy uh, consists of four drugs. One is a proton pump inhibitor. Another is a colloidal bismuth citrate and plus two antibiotics. And the antibiotics that are commonly used for anti-H pylori treatment are amoxicillin, clarithromycin, tetracycline, then metronidazole or tinidazole. So this is a very important diagram. And this diagram gives a complete comprehensive overview of all the major drugs uh, that are used in the treatment of peptic ulcer disease. Uh, now let's uh, talk about the mechanism of action of each category of drug. Uh, the first category of drugs uh, is the H2 antagonist. Example uh, of the drugs are simetidine, ranitidine, famotidine, roxatidine. Now these drugs block the action of histamine at uh, histamine H2 receptors on the parietal cells. Now for complete pharmacology of uh, H2 antagonist, you can refer to my video on anti-ulcer drugs part 2. Second category of anti-ulcer drugs are the proton pump inhibitors. Example of uh, proton pump inhibitors are omeprazole, lansoprazole, pantoprazole, rabiprazole. And these are the drugs that inhibit hydrogen potassium ATPase enzyme that is uh, called as a proton pump. And by inhibiting proton pump, they inhibit the final common pathway required for the secretion of gastric juice and therefore proton pump inhibitors are the most efficacious and the most effective of all the anti-ulcer drugs. Uh, complete pharmacology is covered in my video on anti-ulcer drugs part 3. Uh, next uh, category is the uh, antacids. Antacids are the basic drugs that uh, neutralize gastric acid. For example, aluminium hydroxide, magnesium hydroxide and uh, complete pharmacology uh, of uh, antacids is covered uh, in my video on antacids complete overview. Another category is of uh, prostaglandin analogs. Uh, example is the misoprostol. Misoprostol is a synthetic prostaglandin E1 derivative. Uh, now, uh, misoprostol uh, binds to the prostaglandin receptors and inhibit acid secretion by the parietal cells. Now, complete pharmacology of uh, misoprostol is covered in my video on anti-ulcer drugs part 4. Another category of anti-ulcer drugs are the cytoprotective agents. And uh, the drugs included in this uh, category are sucralfate and uh, colloidal bismuth uh, subcitrate. Now these drugs uh, polymerize or uh, form precipitate in acidic pH. Now this polymer or this precipitate adheres to the ulcer bases or forms a covering over the ulcer bases. And this covering protects the ulcerated tissue uh, against the um, corrosive effect of acid. Uh, it protects the ulcerative tissue from uh, proteolytic effect of pepsin and also from the bile because this covering it acts like a physical barrier. Now apart from this uh, colloidal bismuth subcitrate also suppresses and eradicates H. pylori and therefore uh, bismuth is uh, included colloidal bismuth subcitrate is included in the quadruple therapy it is included in the bismuth based uh, quadruple therapy for the eradication of h pylori now complete information uh, with regards to the pharmacology of uh, sucralfate is covered uh, in my video on anti ulcer drugs part 5 whereas uh, complete information on uh, colloidal uh, bismuth subcitrate is covered uh, in the video on anti-ulcer drugs part 6. Now another category uh, of uh, anti-ulcer drugs uh, are the anti-H pylori drugs. 
now as discussed uh, uh, earlier several times now 90% of the patients with the gastroduodenal ulcers test positive for h pylori and eradication of h pylori uh, results in a rapid healing of the ulcers and it also prevents the relapse now uh, this uh, h pylori is eradicated primarily by the first line therapy or a st standard triple therapy which consists of three drugs out of these three drugs one drug is the acid suppressant that is the proton pump inhibitors apart from the proton pump inhibitor two antimicrobials or two antibiotics are included in this uh, standard triple therapy and uh, antibiotics that are commonly used are the clarithromycin uh, then amoxicillin tetracycline and uh, metronidazole or tenidazole and this uh, uh, standard triple therapy is recommended for 1 to 2 weeks now if h pylori is not eradicated by the first line therapy then second line therapy is advocated for the eradication of uh, h pylori and this second line therapy is a quadruple therapy and it consists of four drugs and this second line therapy is of two types uh, bismuth based quadruple therapy and non bismuth based quadruple therapy now bismuth based quadruple therapy consists of four drugs out of these four drugs one is the proton pump inhibitor second is the colloidal bismuth substrate and two antimicrobials or two antibiotics there is a non bismuth based quadruple therapy again consist of four drugs one is a proton pump inhibitor plus three antimicrobials or three antibiotics so this is in brief uh, uh, about the uh, anti h pylori regimen and the complete uh, information on uh, anti ulcer drugs uh, for the eradication of uh, h pylori is uh, covered in my video on anti ulcer drugs part 7 so uh, this provides a complete comprehensive overview of anti ulcer drugs now if you find the video helpful kindly like subscribe and share this video very important please note that the information provided in this video is meant exclusively for the students uh, from their examination point of view kindly consult a physician for the treatment of peptic ulcer disease or any other disorder due to hyperacidity thanks for watching this video